Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today I'm going to be telling you the must knows before playing two point campers. These are going to be the things that you need to know going in the game, and it's going to set you up for success. Big shout out to Two Point Studios for giving me an early copy of this game. If you want to get your hands on this game, then make sure you check out the link in the video description for my giveaway for Two Point Campus. That's right, you could be in with a chance to win your own copy of the game on whatever platform you want. So click on the link, make sure you subscribe to the channel, come follow me on Twitch, join my Discord, and you will increase your odds of winning Let's go. I'm going to show you Fresh Lane Meadows. It is going to be the first campus that you go into. And um, what a better way to show the must knows before playing. Hey, check out my little golf friend there and the lovely little canal. So, the things you must know money. Money is different in this game. It is different. It's not just like in Two Point Hospital where you can just bump up the prices. It's not. It doesn't happen that way. You have a set amount of money that you're pretty much going to get all year. Oh, what a great timing for the monthly statement to come in. So you get tuition fees. Those tuition fees are set right at the start of the year. The rent also set at the start of the year. All depends on how many students you've got. Now the XP bonus, that is what's going to change. Now that's going to be based on how much the students are learning. The more they're learning, the more they're getting through their assignments, doing all these extra correct stuff, their XP is going to go up, count off the staff wages, and that is going to bring your monthly profit. That is something which you can't do that much about. You can't change that much outside of the start of the year. So you can see course management, if you go here, your next year's tuition fees, that's how much money I'm gonna get. I'm then gonna get rent on top of that, but that is pretty much set. That is not gonna change, um, and you need to take that into account. If you're struggling for money halfway through the year, then you're gonna wanna do something about that. You're definitely gonna wanna do something about that. Um, and that option is taking out a loan. I definitely recommend using these loans if you're kind of stuck. Definitely recommend it. Uh, there is absolutely no shame in taking out loans. It's something which I do on a regular basis on Two Point Campus. And I would recommend it for you guys to do as well. It's going to help you out in a tight spot, help you get through to the end of the year, and then um, you can make sure that you do not go bankrupt, that you can add all these nice things, host all these parties that I just set up um, for the students to make sure they're having a good time. That way they're gonna be happier, they're gonna get better grades, and everything is just gonna go a lot more smoothly. Now, as I said, the academic year is very, very important. You know that that money is locked in for the year. You know exactly when the class is gonna be. You know exactly when there's gonna be some free time to do some assignments, when you can hold parties, all that sort of stuff. You're not gonna get an increase in the amount of students coming midway through the year. You know that you're set for that year. These rooms that we've got at the, st at the start of the year, you know exactly what rooms you need. So you don't need to build any more rooms during, unless you're building you know, these extra socials, this extra staff room, um, but you, you know exactly how many dormitories you need, you know exactly how many classrooms you need, all at the start of the year. So definitely, definitely um, just Welcome worth noting radio. what's going to happen along here, making sure Foundation. that you know, you've got enough Sign money at the end of the year today. to make sure that you can carry the through the to next year. Shape. If you click on course solution. management, you can already see what are going to be the requirements for next year. So I need three more okay. teachers and one extra room. That is just for next year because obviously I've got students uh, graduating and I've got new students come in. And because my campus level has gone up, I've got more students coming in. And I could bump this up even more by just increasing the amount of um, like the, the level of the course. I could add a new course if there was one available to me. There are loads of things that you can do. You can see students are gonna increase. It doesn't always necessarily mean more rooms. It does mean more tuition fees though. So this is something you wanna check up on because if say you're you know, in June and you have no money, 
and then you go here and you've got to spend 103k you're going to be stuck so that is why you need to make sure you're utilizing these loans you're keeping an eye on what costs are coming next year and you're just slowly building up that cash next it's all about the student experience it is all about the student experience you want to make sure you've got vending machines you've got specific items for different character types goths love the goth bookcase that's what they want to see it makes them happy you want to make sure that you've got little kiosks there are loads that you can unlock get those coffee served those hot dogs you can get ramen you can get veggie machines there are tons of them so do make sure you're adding them a nice little breakout area for them to chill for them to relax in you want to make sure that you're you've got your love benches in just to get some romantic relationship i've got a little there we go we have a love tree we love two point studios We've got loads of items that you can add. And students like here, they will ask. So you can see a double jump bed wanted. We love each other, but not as much as we love this really cool thing. I mean, look at it. So you want to save your kudos points. And I'm going to reject this now because I don't want to unlock it. But you want to save your kudos points. And those are the sort of things that you want to look out for um, and make sure you're adding. Lots of things for students to, to interact with. You know, I've got this student room, student lounge, they're building relationships, they're being happier. You can see here, I actually need another one because there are too many people in here. You can see 10 capacity, more people want to come in, but they're both full. So I should be building another one. I'd also recommend, you know, having these benches, having these chill out areas. So you can see over here, ooh, I apparently need to do some more repair. You can see over here, I've not got as much space, but I've got a little chill out area. And it's definitely something which I recommend doing because this is all about the student experience. You want to make sure that you're throwing parties. It's going to make them happy. So oh, they really want that bed, don't they? Um, but you can see you want to add these parties in. It's going to increase their happiness. So you know, if I go here and ask for a student lounge party, it's going to increase 10% movement speed, 20% happiness. Yes, it costs money, but it makes them happy. Not just that, but look veggie coffee ramen there's loads to add i've got the love trumpet here yes, you also have social clubs that they can join that saves me so much so time. let me just get really this one out to i'm going to put it over here just as you walk time. in we have a social I club really quite and i'm going to put a little um, sign there because it so just encourages people to use it to take real short and hands, we need an know. assistant to help run it so let's just grab any assistant there we go so they're going to work the standing and encourage people to join it's going to make people happy joining social clubs and you see here members get access to any get excess energy to access another gear so this is going to make people walk quicker you can see you've got the members you can see all the different you know the different signs the different extra things that you can do to help build up their level and you've got a bit of info there are loads more clubs you can have and um, that's just one I've unlocked the bookworm one, which is going to increase, you can see club members learn faster. Here, club members regain energy anywhere. The power nap recruitment, that is definitely one that I would be on. Now, obviously, this was a really bad place for me to put it, so I'm just going to put it here next to the love bench. Um, yeah, you can see that was a bad place. In fact, I'm going to move it again, because I don't want it next to the love, too close to the love tree, but let's get it there. So you can see people are really excited. People are now running quicker they're moving quicker because they want to get to the class want to get to the new buildings Skills and they're going to have fun it's all about making sure you're setting these students up to be happy and setting up this student um student experience so you can see happiness level 63 but you know we want to do something to make that better he needs the toilet so he should just go to the toilet um but yeah that's going to make your students happy you also want to make sure that you're not making too many people share a dorm so that's currently got eight people in it i actually recommend that you stick to about five you should have about five people per dorm uh, that's going to increase happiness for sure so you can see got it to around six that's fine for now but it's definitely something you want to make sure you're doing and you get these little personal requests come in yeah sure let's add this arcade machine in we're gonna i'm gonna add it over here let's make sure we got some fun everywhere oh, maybe not there there we go in the corner here 
It's going to make our students happy. Really good just to listen to their requests. And you want to save your kudos points because there are going to be a lot of requests coming in. Always something to keep an eye on. Now, your campus is going to grow. It's going to grow, it's going to grow, it's going to grow, and it's going to be really, really quick. So in, in your first year, right, you're going to have 10, pa 10 patients, 10 students come in. In your second year, those 10 students are going to graduate to year two. And it's likely that you're going to get, well, a minimum of another 10 students come in. But if you've upgraded your campus level, if you've upgraded the course, you're going to get more and more students come in. Really, really quickly, you're going to have a lot of students. So that, as you can see there, I've got 119 students for next year and I'm on year four. I could grow that a lot quicker if I wanted to. I could probably slow it down as well. There's definitely ways that you can slow it down by changing the settings here, reducing the amount of students that you intake in. Definitely worth looking at, but you're gonna need to grow pretty quickly. Each year, you've got more and more students come in. Look, we want, now we want a veggie kiosk. Gotta satisfy those needs. Where's the item box? Ooh. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't be bought. And now, over Let's to get Wanda. that kiosk in. We'll be talking about posters, apparently. Uh, okay. Let's get it in. There we go. But you're going to be growing. You're going to be growing, 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 constantly yes, growing. Today we're talking and it's something posters. to keep an eye on. Um, each year, you're going to have more and more students come in. You're going to need you. to get more Again, student lounges, posters, more dormitories, toilets, showers, more rooms. And nice these rooms, face. they aren't small. You do not want to build the minimum requirement room. Maybe on dorms, like toilets, showers, operators. stuff like that. But on your rooms that you're tumblers. teaching in, you definitely and don't. Because there are so many extra items to add very, in. Remember, items great. don't stack in Two Point Campus. So if you want to increase the um, prestige of a room, you can't just spam items. Mm -mm. Ain't going to work. What you have to do is you have to put in a, a wide range of different posters, different items, and there are so many items to choose from. So many items. Um, I mean, you can see I've got pods on the wall here. Uh, we need to add pods on the floor. We got the chairs, we got desk, everything. And, and this is just the first, or one of the first rooms in the game, as you can imagine. It just gets more and more and more. So say goodbye to minimum requirement rooms because they just aren't going to cut it anymore. You need bigger rooms, more space. Like, look at that. We've got lots of items in here. And again, we could add a lot more. Look at this. This is a giant item. It would help students uh, get better assignment scores. And sometimes they will specifically ask for it as well because they need it to do certain assignments. So say goodbye to smaller rooms. Say, look, what have we got here? Rock. We want a party. I'm going to reject that. I'm just going to reject them for now. Look, a rose garden. We're getting requests all the time. And sometimes they go into rooms. Sometimes they don't go into rooms. So you want to make sure that you're not just creating kind of minimum size rooms. Because um, otherwise, you're going to end up having no space. And you're just going to have to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, they are my things you need to know before playing. Money, it's gonna be tight. Don't be afraid to take loans. Your money's gonna be set at the very start of the year and it's gonna dictate the rest of the year. The academic year is key. You're not gonna get any more students once you go for the year. You can lose students, but you're not gonna get any new ones. So make sure that you've got all your things laid out at the start and then you don't have to worry about it again for a bit. You do have to keep an eye on, though, as in what things are going to come next year. If I didn't have that much money, I can see here that I've got quite a lot of requirements. I'm going to be in a bit of trouble, and we're going to have to be utilizing those loans for sure. Campuses grow and grow and grow. Like, look, the level's going up, and I'm not even doing anything. It will just grow. As students level up, they get higher course points better grade so you can see the level four they're learning it's going to go up that's going to increase your campus level as you can see down here it's going up and up and up this person's level eight it is just going to increase who wants to join a club well hopefully you can join the speed running club and bigger rooms you're going to need bigger rooms this 
is not a minimum requirement size room. This needs to be big because you've got lots of things you need to add in there and it can only hold 11 students. You know, I have a lot of students at the moment, so I probably need another library. So you need to make sure that you're creating bigger rooms, lots of items and focusing on that student experience, making sure they're happy, making sure they can build relationships and just have an all round good time. So thanks for listening. Drop me a comment. Let me know what Clean you whiskers, think of all the things you need to know for this session. game before you play. Let me know season, what you think. Let me know how you're liking the game so far. Don't forget to check out the video description. Check out my giveaway. You can get your hands on a free copy. Come subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, why not come catch me live? I'm going to be live streaming Two Point Campus on both YouTube and Twitch for a good couple of days until this game releases. So do make sure you come catch me. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.